Hello, people of the world. My name is Restricted. Welcome back to some more Eat a Fish. Okay. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Smash the windows. When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Okay. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Are they all gonna Edie have generals? People, Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Her room was like a museum. What's this? For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Okay. What, is that all it is? Odin Finch oh. buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Okay. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Ah, so that in the house sank. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Okay. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Yeah, I'd say so. Alright, where do I go now? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every Lewis year. Lewis died a week before oh. we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Okay. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> okay. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Cool. I hadn't thought of myself but you as probably should go for a long, long time. Okay, do I go back out the window now? I guess not. There's still something I've missed. Even the birds are clearly cursed. No. Uh, where do I go now? Ah, there's a room over here. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Well, I saw this room from the outside, but... Yeah. Uh... The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> it was a pretty big trace. Okay, but yeah, but it's a journal. There's a secret in this bathroom. Okay. If you flush it three times, There's it opens up. There's a secret in this bathroom. Okay. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It is. Oh, hold on. It's hidden in this book. What? Okay, cool. I mean, Sven gave Sam an cool. old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. It'd be pretty cool to have, like, secret entrances and stuff in the house. That way if a burglar showed up, you could all just hide in there. Until the police arrive or something. Okay, so that's how I get down there. Milton. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, this is the other room. Okay. And so Calvin died around 1961 because 
yeah, the hyping stops there. My guess is I've got to look at Calvin's stuff, since he did. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess oh, my grandpa didn't awesome. like history any more than my mom did. Spaceships. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finn. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay. We. Oh, I can control both. My brother feet. said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. Watch this! I'm a pro him, swing. We'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Well, I want to go upside down. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. And he bailed. <laughs> I told him going around was impossible. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not going to tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. We. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I don't. Come on, how's that I not think enough? He'd already made up his mind. Come on. That's that. what I want to remember about my brother. Oh god. That is scary. <laughs> oh god. How? The day he made up his mind oh. fly. And he did. <laughs> he just. I know this is a probably really sad moment, but I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Didn't he just? God, Calvin's yeah. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of people on YouTube attempt that. Funeral, it never ends well. Edie rubbed off Calvin's half of the room. Yeah, I guessed that. Am I done in this place? Or is it... No, I don't think I have to go back from there. Yeah, see, look. Another secret entrance. I can literally see it from there. Oh, Grab it, then. What are you doing? <laughs> Grab it. Oh, it's a push. Goodbye, hungry caterpillar. Open. The caterpillar became a butterfly. Oh, it's, this is very complex, man. What the hell? How's no one died in these contraptions? The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. I'll go this way first. I don't know where it goes, but I'll go this way. Ah, so this takes me back out. Well... Oh wait, the stairs? No, I don't want to go in the attic though. The attics are scary. I think I'd just rather go back the way I came. Or like, this way. So yeah. Oh god, that Bigfoot scared me there. <laughs> Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Okay, uh... Look at this. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Wait, did they... what? Is there a comic book on here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family? I'm calling it 
the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Okay, I get it. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in okay. a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Oh, God. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Oh, oh God. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. What? So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came oh. from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret okay. is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out thanks babe i'll be back in a sec but i don't like basements later, rick hadn't returned so barbara went to look for him right on cue and her signature scream right she reached for the music box i don't like this and as she wound the key she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Guess I'll just waltz on down. Oh wow, even the music. Scratch and imagine the worst. <laughs> this cliche horror music, wow. I will fight you. Oh god, that's Come on. His family ten years ago tonight. The old fridge rattled and grew steel. Whack it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. A crutch. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. It's not gonna be a trick. Oh, why does it have to be me? Don't play that music again. I will... Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Which room? Hey! It's a trap. Finished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. <laughs> oh, God. Are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Ah, uh, it's the hook man. I've returned, saw the hook man, and <gasps> was speechless. He was quite smashing. Fight. <laughs> There we go. Okay, Barbara. 
Wait. There's gotta be another way out of here. Passageway. That night, she played her part beautifully. Okay. And then whack him. Get him! Yes! He wasn't moving, but Good. she sensed the story might not be over yet. Damn right it isn't. Careful, there's another thing there. He's gonna be gone now. Yep. Left for his breathing, but all she heard was God's sake, and then I'm gonna get jumped around the corner or something. Watch this. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. It's behind you. Yeah, because multiple. Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful. The monsters what? had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. That's a terrible she comic. For stardom, but I'm Unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. God, now okay. That's what I call a real eerie tale. Okay, cool. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. Who's next? That was a terrible one. Oh yeah, because you gotta go through these, right? So that's the last one. I guess now I know through. why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's check out mom the spooky must have attic. There's four stairs on the night left. Okay. But now I'm gonna have to check the spooky basement. I don't want to check the spooky basement. That's why it's spooky. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Why is it always so dark in here? Thumbs up, outro.